Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at 81 Dash, which is a nice tool for creating classroom back channels as well as task lists for your students. Let's go ahead and get started here. You can log in by creating an account on the site, or you can use your Google or Microsoft login. And let's create a room here. We'll call it Mr. Byrne Geography. And we'll set a room expiration of one week. And we're now into the chat feature. And we can just say, hello class. Use this chat to ask questions during class. You can also attach a file to any of your messages. Now one of the neat things here is you can share this directly to your Google Classroom. So if you're using Google Classroom, just click the Share to Classroom and you can now share that chat to all the students in your Google Classroom account. We also have a feature here called Dash Notes. Now notes are different than chat. Uh, notes are going to be a little bit more permanent in the room. They're not going to uh, disappear as you add more and more messages like they will in chat. Let me just say remember quiz on Friday. Please take a look at the attached review sheet. And again if I had a review sheet I could attach that. In this case I'll just attach another picture and create the note. Now one of the other features of 81 Dash is the option for creating a task list. Let's go over here to the right hand side and create a new task and say today's task will be brainstorm topics for a research project. And if I had a product descriptor I could again attach that. Let's create that note. And now all the students in my 81 dash room will be able to see the task list, the notes, and of course the chat. Now one of the, th one of the things about chat that I like is that you can delete or moderate comments. So you can go ahead and delete a message if you want to. The other thing that I like about 81 Dash is I can manage multiple rooms here. You can see I have a geography room and I also have a world history room. And let's say I want students to join the geography room. They can do that when I select room info and I can have them go to the URL assigned to the room and they can join into 81 Dash either as a registered user or as a guest. Either way they have to enter a name. The other option, as you can see, I can upload a list of users. And if I had an Excel sheet with student names, I could go ahead and import that list and create users that way. So that's 81 Dash. It's a nice tool for classroom back channels as well as task lists. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.